Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. Back again with a look at Thailand and Southeast Asia. So what have we got today? The 39th Motor Expo in Bangkok starts. Very, very good, should go and look at that if you're in Bangkok. Philippines jet forced to head back to the airport because it's spitting out flames out of one of its engines. Two Australians arrested amongst others for possession of drugs in Thailand in the Pattaya area. Household debt in Thailand at a record 340,000 Thai baht. And a look at the Philippines Sea Games. Very interesting. And a look at Vietnam's healthcare. But first up, Thailand's new double entry visa. Will it help to bring tourists back to Thailand? The Thai government has announced a new double entry tourist visa. The government says the new measures would allow visitors to go in and out of Thailand to neighbouring countries such as Cambodia, Laos or Malaysia and then back into Thailand. The Deputy Secretary General to the PM, Kobsak Putrakol, says a double entry visa will be introduced. The new visa will allow visitors to leave and re-enter Thailand during their stay in the kingdom. He also touched on the possibility of applying for the new visa online. It is rumoured in addition to land entry points Nong Khai between Thailand and Laos and Sado between Thailand and Malaysia will be open 24 hours a day for a three month trial period. There has been no official confirmation of when the trial period will begin, but is reported to be from the end of this year to the beginning of next year. Following this trial period, officials will check the number of people crossing over the border after hours. If they can justify this, the entry points will be left open 24 hours a day. Cobsack says the new visa entry opening hours at the checkpoints are a part of a series of new measures being considered to kick along the tourist industry. Yes, yes, amazing, isn't it? Cobb Sachs says the government's target is to bring 42 million visitors to Thailand in 2020. He also added that the country had already welcomed 20 million tourists in the first half of 2019 and was heading for a year-end total of around 39 million, down from the 40 million target set at the start of the year. I don't know, 20 million tourists. I wonder where they were hiding. Hmm. Johnny Siam reporting, Thailand's 36th Motor Expo kicked off on Friday 
At a press event, the organising committee said they expected at least 50,000 vehicles and 9,000 motorbikes to be sold during the 12-day expo. But with a sluggish economy, everyone was confident the expo would attract around 1.6 million visitors and generate 56 million Thai bar. So if you're in the market for the latest car or bike or even a photo chance with some of the beauties, drop on down. You never know. You could have a bit of fun. Johnny out. Johnny, so I am reporting. Los Angeles, California. Philippine Airlines had a costly mishap when the ill-fated flight 113 from Los Angeles, California, LAX to Manila, Philippines, MNL, developed an engine problem just after takeoff pilots reported the Boeing 777 had a problem with the right engine around noon on Thursday video footage from people on the ground and on board showed flames coming from the engine as horrified passengers watched on. The aeroplane returned to LAX and landed safely. LAX spokesman Heath Montgomery said no flames were showing when the plane landed, but firefighters were on hand should they have been needed. All 342 passengers and 18 crew landed safely. And as you can see, from the look on some of the people's faces, I think it's one of the times when a window seat isn't such a good idea. Johnny out. Two Australians arrested in Patio during a drug raid. Two Australian men are among several people arrested in Pattaya, Thailand during a police drug raid. More than a kilogram of ice, guns and cars were seized. Police descended on the home in Pattaya about 5.30pm. Pattaya police alleged they were also part of a network suspected of selling drugs to foreign tourists. During the sting, Australian James Robert Hansom, 46, and Stephen Brett Hovey, 58, were arrested, along with a Nigerian man, 38, and two Thai nationals, 35 and 34-year-old. Authorities seized 1.2 kilograms of drugs, allegedly to be ice, multiple guns, six mobile phones, 12 debit cards spanning 7 bank accounts, 12 cash tablets and a grey Toyota Vios sedan. Police also believe they may be connected to the Hells Angel Outlaw Motorcycle Gang, according to local reports. Police are describing the arrest as a significant move against the global drug cartel. The average Thai household now is in debt to the tune of 11,254 US dollars or Thai baht 340,000 per household, an increase of 7.4% over last year at this time. According to a survey of the Thai Chamber of Commerce, people in the survey or 88% of the people in the survey said they were in debt mainly due to the general general expenditure such as buying vehicles or house such as buying vehicles or houses and the credit card spending related to their jobs they expressed concern about the history level of household debt which they attributed to stagnating economy growth global trade conflict and higher pricing for consumer goods many people yearn to be debt free and reduce their cost of living but cannot because the price of goods continues to rise they said 
They expected more government economical stimuli will be needed by the middle of the first quarter of 2020 to continue floating the economy. That is not a good outlook for Thailand. Johnny Siam reporting. Philippines, Manila, mishaps and anomalies have marred the start of the 30th Southeast Asian Games. President Rodrigo Dontre has demanded an explanation and has said that the President was not at all pleased, asking why, with delays and allegations of athletes arriving late or not on time to their place of rest or residence, and also not being fed properly. The President says he wants a probe into the situation and placed the blame on the Philippines Southeast Asian Games Organisation Committee and its members. The Games will officially open this Saturday the 30th, so let's hope all goes well as this is also a chance to showcase the Philippines. Johnny Siam reporting. Vietnam, Hanoi. The health sector improved services to better serve patients. The health sector has improved its service over recent years, aiming to decrease the amount of money Vietnamese currently spend over two billion US dollars overseas in medical. The hospital, since 2016, has worked to attract foreign doctors. The St. Paul Hospital has worked with 263 foreign medical experts from France, the USA, Australia, Switzerland, Japan and South Korea. It's an academic exchange and technology transfer. Minimal invasive heart surgery is used to treat varying levels of heart conditions with quicker recovery, less pain and a shorter hospital stay. Techniques and other procedures were discussed at a conference held at Cho Rai Hospital in Ho Chi Minh City last Saturday. Since 2013, over 900 cases of minimal invasive heart surgery have been performed at the E Hospital from a child weighing 13 kilograms was the youngest to have heart surgery to a heart transplant of an older person from a donor. Cardiovascular disease is a leading cause of death globally claiming 18 million lives a year. So diet, exercise and general well-being does help a lot. So as we can see, the Vietnamese are very serious about bringing up their standard of healthcare. Johnny out.